Hello friends of the electrified charging fund and welcome to Speicher Elektrisiert, your channel all around Skoda's e-mobility. My name is Matthias and today we'll look at the curiosity when charging the new model year 2024 ENIAC. And what happens there is, for example, when I set the charging limit to 80%, my ENIAC tends to charge to 83%. And since I'm interested in such phenomenons, I do a bit of a deep dive, I look into data and try to find out what this curiosity is all about. And if you are interested in that, then stay around and here we go. To be honest, first off, I didn't even notice that something is wrong here. Well, I plugged my new ENIAC in, it charges up, I had the limit at 80% and I didn't even bother that there were 83% in the display. I don't know why. I just didn't look really at that until I get some emails and comments. Like this email here from Marek from Slovakia who was telling me that he has a problem with charging. But the curious thing is he didn't say the ENIAC is charging too much. He says he sees a drop in the state of charge when he plugs in. So basically the opposite. And that makes me really interested in finding out what's going on and if I could reproduce this in my own ENIAC. And to do so and to get a bit more of data, we will use in this video again our OBD adapter. This one here, the iCar, the WeGate iCar Pro. This one uh, works with Android and iOS. I have a link down in the description. It's an affiliate link to Amazon. So if you like to support me, use that link that we plug into the OBD port of the car. And then to get more, to get the data displayed, we need an app. I use the car scanner app. This one here, also available for Android and iOS, looks like this. There's a free version and the pro version you can buy out there. And we will see some screenshots of this app later on. And by the way, if you want a tutorial on how to use this adapter with the app and how to build dashboards and stuff like that, write me in the comments. Then I do a new video on how to work with the OBD adapter and with the car scanner app. But back on the topic. You will see some values which come from this app, from the car scanner, from readings from the OBD port. There are two SOC, state of charge values. One is called display. This should be the value you are seeing in your display as a driver. And the other one is called BMS for the battery management system. This is the internal value the battery management system is working with and they differ. Um, a general rule of thumb is the higher the SOC in the display, the lower the BMS value will be. So it will be below the displayed one. The extreme example, you have 100% in the display, so BMS would be around 96%. And if you go on low SOC, it's the opposite. If you have another extreme 0% in the display, the BMS value should be around 3 to 5%. And the other value we need is the energy content of the traction battery. This is um, what our value of how much energy should be in the battery. I don't know if these values are correct, but they seem or tend to be as correct as possible to do our own testing here. And without them, it just wouldn't be the same. But enough of a talk. Let's head into our first test and make some observations on this curiosity. The first thing I wanted to do was trying if I am able to reproduce everything I saw and my viewers told me. And for that test I didn't even plug in the adapter now because I just want to see is it an issue or not. And here we go. Well, I had 67% state of charge and I plugged my car in. And as you can see as soon as my wall box started to charge the car, we have a drop of 3% down to 63% state of charge in the display. And you can see how the kilometers are dropping. My range is going down, but the car is charging fine. So I let the car charge. And when I came back to the car, and it doesn't matter if you come back uh, the next day or after four hours, but it is important that then it needs to be some time. We will see in a detailed test further on what this means. There you go. 
my car has been charged to 83% according to the display. And basically this was four hours later on. And this is a curious situation. My first thought wa was, is this just a display issue? Is there some error in displaying something? Or is there more going on? Is there really something wrong with charging? And therefore we need values. And that's where I did a second more detailed test with more technical insights. And we're looking at this test right now. Well, that was quite curious, but now I really want to know what's going on. Time to dig into the topic. Time to use our OBD adapter and to get some values. Because I want to prove is this just happening on my screen, so just a display bug, or is really something going on with the battery? So I plugged in at 62%. This is according to the display of the car. And we've got an um, energy content in the traction battery of 47,900 watt hours or 47.9 kilowatt hours. And as soon as the wall box allows the charging, you see it drops 4% down and to 58 on the display on the ENIAC. And now look at the car scanner. Something has happened there. Both SOC values did not change at all, but the energy content of the traction battery drops. It has dropped by 2650 watt hours. Yes, the car scanner tells me in exact the moment where the display goes down to 58 that there is energy out of the battery. Gone for good? I don't know. Well, now it's getting a bit complicated because I have no clue what is going on here. Now let's charge the car up again. And for charging up, I decided to enter the car one percentage before charging ends because now it's getting even more curious. And the display says that charging is done and we are at 80%, not 83. So everything fine now. If you look at the 80% value, it says we have 61,750 watt hours in our battery. And now let's do a bit of math. If I take the original 62% value, not the deducted one from the car, and take the difference, this is 13,850 watt hours. And from 62 to 80, it would be 18%. Now I can do another calculation and say, what are 18% of the net capacity of the battery of 77,000 watt hours? Uh, later in the third test, you will know why I take this value. And if I do this, I have 13,860 watt hours. The 10 watt hours just ignore them. So it seems pretty exact, but this is no explanation at all for the phenomenon we are seeing here. But what happens if I leave the car and come back later, as in the previous test? I did so, I came back around two hours later and ta-da, we are up to 83%. And look at the energy content of the traction battery according to the car scanner. It also went up to 64,425 watt hours. And this is 2,675 watt hours more than at 80%. And just remember from 62 to 58, it was 2,650. Just ignore the 25 watt hours again. So it seems that he has added the value again on top. And I have my theories on what is going on here. Maybe you have yours. We are talking about that later. But before we do that, we have to do another test and talk about another very annoying bug in the car. Let's talk about the second bug and annoying thing I found during my tests. Well, I was after the second charging test, I was driving to work and then I saw the message icon with the red dot on my display and thought, why is it there? Is there an over the air update coming? What is the car wanting from me? So I hit that button and as you can see, it told me battery care will set the charging limit down to 80% with the next charge. And I was like, what? I always have my charging at 80% and I always have battery care mode on. I never set it to 100% in everyday life. And I swear to you, I didn't do this here. 
So basically, the car, why I don't know, has set the limit up to 100% itself. And guess what? I already got some emails and notifications and messages from other viewers who told me, yes, I have the same problem. And the software version 3 ENIAC drivers also know that, that sometimes the ENIAC randomly charges to 100% and even the limit is set to 100% and they know they didn't do it. And basically, yes, here it is with the software version 4 and I also got that problem and I got it on camera. Well, this should not happen and it's an annoying bug that this is happening. But for me in my special situation, that comes in quite handy because I thought up that as a second charging test, let's do a third one. What happens if I set the charging limit to 100? I didn't have to because the car just did it magical for me. And will I then have 103% SOC or to be more precise, will the BMS SOC instead of 96 go up to 99%? Or what will happen if I set it like this? And at this test, we are looking next. Let's head straight into the third test, charging to 100% and see what happens. I drove a bit around with my ENIAC uh, commuting to work and now I'm plugging in again. And as expected, you see the SOC is dropping right down again and the energy content is also going down. And now let's see what happens when we are charging up to 100%. I already entered the car at around 99% to record it and you can see as expected, it stops at 100%. And now the energy content of the battery is 70,150 watt hours. That's what I referred to in the second test. Um, the net 77,000, it seems even the car scanner is displaying it. I can take that as a basis for calculation. And this is fine. I let the ENIAC be plugged in and left it for a couple of hours. And when I came back, ta-da! Nothing happens. Still 100%, no changes at all and even the energy content is the same. No changes at all. And even the next day it was the same energy content. So basically it's not a general behavior we saw in the previous tests or at least you have the proof that the battery management system is working properly to uh, protect your battery from overcharging. It does not allow to go higher. I don't know what's happening here. The third test is not helping in any explanation on the topic, but at least it's a proof that the battery should be saved. And now let's dig into possible explanations for this situation. Well, now you see your Mr. Enyaq Speicher a bit clueless because to be honest, I don't have a perfect explanation for this, which suits 100%. I have some ideas what might be, but I'm not sure if this is true. Well, let's go over this. There seem to be some kind of issue or error here. This is not a normal behavior. Something is wrong. And my first thought was, well, it is a general software error for the display. It's just juggling around with the numbers. Somebody did uh, something weird there and nothing has happened. But the car scanner proved difference. The car scanner proved that there is some more stuff going on actual with the battery as it seems. Or maybe still a software issue but with some value. So it does not seem to be just a display problem. Next I thought maybe it's an error in the battery management system. And then I thought twice and said to me, well, maybe not an error. Maybe it's uh, on purpose, like that it is uh, doing a nivellation of the cells. But this takes hours. This is not ad hoc, like plugging in and doing stuff like that. And therefore I went with, no, this should not be on purpose. Maybe an error in the battery management system. But what error? What is this weird thing going on? And then I thought again and now let's split this phenomenon. We have one on the one side where the uh, SOC is dropping when you plug in. I don't have any further explanation on this as those I already told you. Well, let's look at the other side. The SOC is going over your limit. 
and the ENIAC has the capability to sustain the charging in the car whilst you're plugged in, even if the ENIAC consumes energy. So this sustained charging could be an issue if it's not working properly. So basically, this would also explain why it takes a bit of time until the SOC is higher. But even if the sustained charging would just charge a bit higher, it doesn't make any sense. If this is the problem, then the car should always charge to 100% or why should it stop after 3%? Doesn't make sense at all. And this is why I can't give you a perfect explanation on this topic. Simply, I don't have one, but maybe you. If you've got an explanation for what is going on, then write me down in the comments. And please also comment if you are also experience these issues, these three bugs I spoke about. And write it down because I want to address Skoda with this video, as I did with a lot of videos before. So please, Skoda, give us an explanation on what is going wrong here. What is happening in our Enyaqs? And I really hope you could clarify the situation for us. And as soon as I've got new information, I will do a new video uploaded to the channel. And I bet we see each other in that video. And maybe we see each other even in the next video if I do not get that explanation that fast. And until then, stay full of energy.